Hello, I'm going to be giving you a brief demo of Dwarf Phonemic Awareness. This is a standalone assessment that only tests a student's phonemic awareness abilities within the eight areas that I will show you in a second. As with all of our assessments, the interface is chosen based on the student's grade level. Items are always separate and based on the student's performance. In this first section, we are looking at early phonological awareness and we're testing word numbering. How many words are in this sentence? Please stay one word, two words, three words. So in this assessment, students are always given an example question first before it actually moves into the real items. Once they get the example question and they complete it, it moves into the actual items. And again, with our assessments, there are usually multiple items per skill being tested. So you don't have to worry about a single question throwing off your results. So we, we complete this section. The student does word numbering. And by the way, this is really for only the younger students. Older students may not get word numbering. Let's take a look at the next section. Choose the word that rhymes with sun. Soap. Fun. Nice. This section is rhyming. And again, the student would click on the correct word that they hear. Soap. They could roll their mouse over to rehear the item. Fun. Nice. If they click on repeat, then it will repeat the actual question. And of course, again, this is explained to them in the instructions and they get an example question before they actually move into the real items. All right, let's take a look at the next section. What is the same sound in these three words? Bat, ball, fun. B, A. This section is called identity. The next one. Tie. Click on the shape that says the smallest sounds you hear in the word tie. One sound. Tie. Two sounds. T. I. Three sounds. T. Uh. I. This particular section is phoneme segmentation, and it will vary based on the grade level of the student, uh, although it is still based on their performance, but older students will get more complicated phoneme segmentation questions. Blend the sounds m, a, p together. What word do they make? Map, pan, Mud. This section is phoneme manipulation and it is blending. Again, remember a student could roll the mouse over. Map. Pan. Mud. All right, let's take a look at the next one. Say the word ants. Now choose the word you get when you add the p sound to the beginning of ants. Pants. Stamp, plan. This section is phony manipulation addition. And obviously you're watching a demo, but in real life when students are taking this, it's important that the environment is very quiet, they have good headphones. If you have younger students taking the assessment, make sure the headphone audio is adjusted ahead of time because we are, you know, requiring the student listen carefully. Say the word smile. Now choose the word you get when you say it without the s-i-l, smell, mile. This next section is phoneme manipulation again, but it's deletion. Okay, let's look at the last section. Say the word cat. What word do you get when you change the k sound to Cap, at, pat. This last section is phony manipulation substitution. So I do want to remind you that this assessment is completely automated. 
instructions are given to the student. It pushes them through the next question as they progress. If they if it gets too difficult and they start missing a lot of the of a particular task, it'll stop and then move on. So again, the assessment is adaptive, it's smart, it's trying to reduce frustration for students. In the end, you have a very powerful report. So please watch the next demo later on where you can see how the reports look and how a teacher or parent could use this data to understand a student's or child's phonemic awareness ability. Thank you.